do a little something a little different this time. Oops. Lost it there, buddy. Look at it. Looking car. I love the stance on that thing. I mean, I don't think there's a bad 70 cranberry red Chevelle, but geez, this one is just got something about the, the whole build of the car. It's just very. Give me a blip. Hey guys, uh, Leah and Chris at it again with yet another great build. Uh, SS 396, four speed, cranberry red, beautiful painted black racing stripes, um, white bucket seat interior that if you would have asked me on paper how I liked it, I would have said no, I would prefer black, but seeing the car in person, it's pretty actually, because it's really not white. It's more like a pearl white. It's an ivory. Yeah, ivory white. It's it just really and I we we did park the car here on purpose so you get to see the the colors, both how they look in the shade and in the sun, and I guess the shade part is where you really appreciate the actual color of the vinyl. It's pretty sweet, but it's a I'm gonna beautiful yeah. beautiful upholstery job. I wanted to point out some of the little things that aren't always here on the reproduction seat covers. The little crumb bits here and in the back and. It's just, it's a lovely interior. It's a great You can really see car. the pearl on the door pin. It's just great look. And as we said, actually, it's the same thing we said in the last car. Like, this is the stuff I would want to look for. Like, this has obviously been removed when the car was painted. The car was painted as a shell, right. most likely, and then built around that. And it's all very, very clean. Just let me walk around the door here so I can show. Like, this is stuff where a car, when it's crunchy, you'll see it in here. This is... Even the weather stripping, which keep in mind, guys, these are all reproduction parts. These are not OEM parts that are perfect. These are very close to the original stuff, but many times you'll see stuff around here being a little crunchy, and this part here being a little crunchy, just Things because that don't fit right. I mean, we right. see this every day, so we can pick this apart. They get pinched, but this one is really, really. I mean, I've, I've, I've actually. Is. Even the what? door felts. Everyone skips out on the door felts. Right. I don't know if you've ever installed these or replaced these. Oh, it's a are, pain. Really, really big pain. And that was the difference. Close the door. So that's the difference. Boom. As opposed to hearing the, the glass that goes glang, 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 glang. And I hate that. Another thing that I like to show um, is just look at the reflection in the paint. You can actually see the green leaves reflect in the red paint. That tells you how nice it is. I love the Magnum 500s. And the, I said earlier, the stance on this thing, I think the tires are definitely beefier than stock. Yeah. But it just gives it that right cool stance. I'm, uh, these stripes are just killing me. You can't even feel them. Beautiful oh, yeah, well. job. And again, as you mentioned, you can see the green from the trees in here. Right. And c keep in mind, guys, today, I mean, we have a pollen alert around here, so you might see a little bit of that green stuff reflecting in the paint. But let's open the trunk. Beautifully detailed trunk. Yep. New floor mat, proper size tire, Magnum 500. No moisture, no nothing Clean. gross peeking through. No, and I, I, guys, this stuff, if this was my car, I would take this and throw it away. All this does, yes, it looks correct, but all it does is just traps moisture under there. So if you're not going to go to a show, take that stuff out. Properly installed new seal, so mm -hmm. it will stay dry. Correct stickers, correct finish on the latches, correct finish on every, I mean, this is the... This is a proper finish on the little tab that holds the ignition cylinder in place, or the, the, the lock cylinder. Oh, I didn't know you started the car from there. <laughs> but the attention to detail, is, is we, even right now, as we look closer, is uh, very nice. A lot of things Chevelle guys will notice. This bumper pad in the back. You'll ask the question, is that the wide line or the skinny line? If you see, this is the skinny line. It uh, sounds pretty pretty aggregate, pretty subjective, but until you see a repop that's cheap beside a proper one, You'll notice this stuff. It's kind of cream colored with the white SS's. And, just and those are A expensive, B a pain to make them stick. Oh my gosh. Around the wheel well. And there's no like door dings or anything on the car or on the, uh, you know, many times when people get a car to restore it, they 
I mean, look at that reflection. They're just super, super clean. Same thing over here. Gorgeous door jam. I, d d seriously, this has got to be the best oh, yeah. weather stripping I've ever seen in a Chevelle. It's, it's even the right screws, the right fasteners, right. the right finishes, everything. Rocker panels, solid. Um, nice clear lenses on the gauges, they've been restored. Yep. 5500 RPM red line on the tachometer, 120 mile an hour speedometer, proper sport wheel. What shifter is that? Is that the stock style shifter? That is the stock style shifter, and if you notice, it's the Muncie lever as well. Yep. It's not the Hurst upgrade. The Hurst is great, but uh, it's just sort of neat to see the OE stuff as right. it was. And as of that um, radio, uh, we recently got the car, so I'm not sure what Tony plans to do with it. But if I know my chickens, uh, he's probably going to want to replace that radio with a factory style radio. And now we saved the best for last. This is a very nicely detailed engine bay. Gorgeous, very strong running 396. Yep. Again, as we like to point out, the proper tower clamps, the washer solvent jug, the hood pins are in the right place. The correct big heavy duty radiator. Do you think the, that's a correct uh, GM hose? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> I know, it only I'll, says GM on I'll, it 15 I'll check times. check the book when I get back. <laughs> but it does have some nice little add-ons. Um, we've got, uh, I don't know how well you can see, we've got a Holly Let me try and go from the side. Got a wide aluminum intake manifold that kind of turns up the wick a little bit. Nice jet hot ceramic coated headers. Uh, awesome sounding exhaust. Two and a half inch dual exhaust the whole way back. And as you can see from other parts of the video, the functioning rim air. Or, let's delete that. Cal induction flapper. Right. Uh, power steering. I'm sorry. Power brakes. Power steering. Plenty of room for AC if you would want it. Um, this is the sticker for a solid lifter motor, which this I guess is not, but it is it's probably making well more than that figure there. So it's just, I'm guessing it, whoever built the car liked the idea of showcasing a little bit more power than what the stock motor had. Um, what else to say? Great car, great stance, drives very beautifully. Obviously you guys can't tell, but we drive a lot of these and um, you know, by the time you you just get it rolling out of a parking spot, you 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 just feel it's a well put together tight car uh, that looks like a million bucks. I guess we're gonna drive it back. Any anything we missed? You think? Not that I can no? think of. I mean, it sounds like we're being redundant, but uh, again, we between the two of us driven a lot of Chevelles and a lot of other cars, and I am very impressed with how this mm -hmm. rides and drives. Everything on this is, is, is very bottom line. Proper. It's a ninety seventy coal induction. Bucket seat, four speed, big block, cranberry red with racing stripe Chevelle. Uh, enough said. See you on the other side, guys. 301 816 1000. Call Leo or Chris, and uh, we'll put this baby in your drive. Nice these lines are. Yeah, which is actually unusual for a 70 right, Chevelle. I mean, yeah, there's, there's certain correct flaws that the 70 Chevelle usually has. And now we're just rambling because right. the longer we look at this car, no, I'm, I'm driving it back. I want it.